Hi, this is Mark with Ninja Training TV. Today we're going to go over a comparison of sword cuts and knife cuts. So we're going to compare Eskrima knife drills with sword drills from Ninjutsu. It's really interesting the similarity of these two. So we're going to start with the knife from Eskrima. So in Eskrima they have, oh, let's say, 12 different cuts for basic cuts. What they are is angles of attack. And so they start from the right to the left and they have a number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the last two are kind of these plunging cuts and things like that. These nine or ten basic cuts here are at almost the same exact angles as swords. So it's really interesting if you look at different martial arts and you start to compare them, a number one cut here with a knife from Eskrima transfers into a Kesagiri cut with the sword. And we have Dogiris coming across the middle section, and we have Yaku Kesagiris coming up through, we have Ski, and all of those actually end up being the same with a knife. So there's only so many angles of an attack that you can come in on an opponent, and once you know these angles of attack, you know how to actually implement them, it's easy to start to think about defending against them as well. So we'll go over these once for you guys in basic form so you can practice these at home. And one of the things I like to do is actually make contact when I'm doing the cut and I wanna have my other hand up in a ready position if I'm in close with somebody because they can throw a punch at you or do something like that. So one, right down, two, three, four, five, straight in, six, I pull back and plunge, seven, plunge, eight, straight, nine, coming up, and ten, coming the other way. So those are the basic cuts for that. Then we go to sword with the basic. Now my distance changes a little bit here because I have a longer weapon. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And what you wanna do is have your opponent stay there. They wanna be, you know, at a, a really good cutting board for you, basically. You wanna use them so that you can get the correct distance. If I train out here and I'm just missing all the time, that's what I'm gonna do in real life, I'm gonna miss. So I wanna be at an effective range distance and then be able to implement it from there. And then after that, you can work on your speed of things and start to really get into moving and having that speed come up faster. And the other person can then do their turn and go back and forth. So this is a little quick, really interesting tip that different martial arts have almost the same angles of attacks, same angles of cuts, and it's good to study other arts so that you can kind of see a short game in close, a longer range game and a mid range game. And then your arsenal will start to begin to build up and you'll be like a well-rounded martial artist if you're studying multiple styles. So if you like this and these little theories that we're talking about, you should check out the all new white belt to black belt set. Follow the link up here in the corner and as always like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much and I hope you have an awesome day. Keep training.